The 10 Best Things to Do in Santa Monica Surrounded by mountains on one side and the beach on another, the urban sprawl of Los Angeles seems to melt away as soon as you hit Santa Monica. This beachside city has a charm all of its own and is the essence of that classic postcard picture of Southern California, yes, including traffic. But we're not here to complain about the 10 or PCH. Instead, we're here to help you fill that coveted, less trafficked window between morning rush hour and happy hour with the very best things to in Santa Monica, including its most essential attractions. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Before we begin, please show your support by liking this video and subscribing to my channel so you don't miss any future updates. Number 10. Santa Monica Camera Obscura. This curious old optical contraption is a historical and offbeat place to catch your breath. Whether you're waiting for late stragglers to your dinner reservations or trying to find a quiet escape from the pier. Though the technology behind this rudimentary camera-like room is thousands of years old, it still feels like magic. Number 9. Santa Monica Place. Set on the more commercial side of Santa Monica, at the promenade's southern end, is the revamped Santa Monica Place shopping center. Just two blocks from the beach and the Santa Monica Pier, the mall attracts many tourists looking for a quintessential LA shopping experience. Major retail outlets like Bloomingdale's, and Nordstrom. Sit alongside the very LA eatery True Food Kitchen. Number 8. American Cinematheque at the Aero Theater. The Aero Theater has been in operation since the 1940. A history and legacy it flaunts with screenings of classic films and contemporary independent cinema. This art deco landmark also hosts special feature programs plus director lectures and appearances. The Aero is operated by American Cinematheque. WHO also programs the Los Feliz Theater. And the famous Egyptian Theater in Hollywood, another venue film buffs should take the time to visit. Number 7. Tongva Park. Parking lots turned into parks. It's the latest transformation sweeping LA, and WHO could complain after setting eyes on Santa Monica's Tongva Park? This idyllic and well-designed ocean-adjacent oasis harbors a playground. Meadows. Waterfalls. Walking paths in a conch-like. Wireframe lookout to the Pacific. Artist Inigo Monglano Avail's kinetic sculpture Weatherfield anchors, the park as a minimal. Serene and instantly memorable landmark. Number 6. Third Street Promenade. A four-block pedestrianized stretch that runs down Third Street from Wilshire Boulevard to Colorado Avenue. Third Street Promenade is a pleasant, but bland parade of mostly familiar names, Gap, Starbucks E.T. Al. The restaurants are ordinary, but the Wednesday morning farmer's market makes up for it. At the promenade's southern end is the revamped Santa Monica Place Shopping Center, which reopened in August 2010. Number 5. The Original Muscle Beach. Not to be confused with its showier Venice sibling. This workout playground for grown UPS has given Santa Monica's biggest and burliest somewhere to sweat and strut their stuff for a century. On weekends, you'll see some amazing gymnasts tackle the parallel bars. Uneven bars and ring swings. Even with all that machismo. The vibe here stays friendly and no one will mind if you choose to get involved, or just sit and take it all in. Number 4. Santa Monica Pier. The center and focal point of Santa Monica Beach, Santa Monica Pier is home to a whole host of different attractions. Pacific Park is a traditional fair with a roller coaster and Ferris wheel. Plus plenty of fairground games. An aquarium. And a classic carousel housed in the historic Loof Hippodrome. There are also regular outdoor music and film events hosted at the pier. Bringing a different, hipper crowd to the boardwalk. Number 3. Santa Monica State Beach. This big beach, which effectively runs the length of Santa Monica itself is usually crowded and has a festive, summer holiday feel to it. The big attraction is Santa Monica Pier, on a level with Colorado Avenue. Roughly three city blocks in length and packed with typical and endearingly low-tech distractions. Pier fishing. Video arcades. Free twilight dance concerts in summer. Fortune tellers, fairground games. Rides and Ferris wheel. Number 2. Santa Monica Farmer's Market. The next time you're at a restaurant and tempted to ask the waiter where your astoundingly fresh beets came from, don't. 
we'll save you the trouble and answer for you. The beets, and, likely, the majority of the dish's ingredients, probably came from the Santa Monica Farmer's Market. While the market occurs on a couple of days, wed, sat and sun, in various parts of Santa Monica. The best day to go is on Wednesday along Arizona Avenue. This is our city's largest and most popular farmer's market, and where LA chefs go to grocery shop. You'll find parking in one of Santa Monica's public parking structures. Free for the first 90 minutes. Number 1. Palisades Park. Walk along the palm and eucalyptus lined paths here. And it becomes obvious why tourists flock to this oceanside park in Santa Monica. Nestled between the beach and Ocean Avenue, this bluff top park runs the length of Santa Monica's northern coast with stunning views of the ocean and Santa Monica Mountains. This is the postcard picture of LA's coastline that lives in most people's heads. Steer clear of the touristy, and sometimes unsavory, section by the pier. Though don't pass up a stop at the Camera Obscura and instead keep toward the Pacific Palisades adjacent end. Past the stately concrete sculpture at Wilshire. And the colorful totem pole at San Vicente. Did you love to go to beach? Tell us in the comment section below. And if you have any questions or suggestions then feel free to mention them in the comment section and we will surely respond to your request. If you liked this video, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.